Hello everyone and welcome back to our Rags to Riches Challenge episode 7. We are back with Carly. We are still at the art gallery but we're trying to grab some food just now. But the stall looks like it's closed. I can't interact with it right now. So we're going to try going to the other one to buy some produce. We might see if we can buy stuff for our little garden, which we will have to work on. But that is the other stuff we were trying originally, just opening. Now, it, I was clicking on it for about five minutes trying to get it to work because it said the person was in there, but yeah, it's not working. Even now that it looks open, it's not letting it do anything. So we are just going to have to leave that for now. We do have food in our inventory, but first she wants to do another little painting. Autonomously, she's gone to do a painting. So we will let her. She is very inspired. It's much to do with the environment we're in and because she had some successful painting, which we saw in the last episode. So we're starting off the episode with a little bit of painting again, a nice big canvas there. It looks like it's some sort of scenery painting this time compared to our classics or the little reference one we did. So for this episode, I'm not really sure what we're going to be doing. I want to work on our garden more and see if we can get closer to a goal of 2,000 simoleons before we do anything on the house. But we finished that photo, so we're going to pop it into our inventory and we're going to take care of our needs very quickly because they have gotten very low. But we've had a call from Dwayne, who is our crush. We met him a few episodes back, congratulating us on being friends with the flower bunny because we, he's one of our only friends. We've literally only got flower bunny, Dwayne, and a college student as our friend. We probably need to make some more and probably get more within our age range, which is a teenager. And while we're here, we're also going to wash a little bit because she's getting stinky. And I've noticed she's got the conceal acne option. She's apparently developed some acne. It's probably from all the running around and looking for stuff and maybe not cleaning herself up as much as she should. So yeah, you can see there's little spots on her face. Thankfully, she doesn't seem too embarrassed about it. So we'll get the facial cleanser on and cover that up before we head home. So just a quick fast travel home because it's always a lot quicker than running across the world to then travel home. But I've managed to get lost in my world selection. Couldn't remember where we were going, but we're back to Oasis Springs to our little garden shed of a house and our little garden as well. Hopefully we will have a few things to harvest there soon. But I think First things first, we need to go for a shower and I believe we might also have some bills to pay today from last time and our lemon trees have finally grown in. So it doesn't look like any of our plants really need taken care of at this moment in time. So yeah, we've got those bills to pay. 156 simoleons, we can afford it, which is good. Though those bills will keep going up as we eventually expand the house and everything within it. We're still working on the curator aspiration as well. We need to complete one collection. So hopefully we'll be able to get close to doing that soon. So we've just paid our first bills. We're a bit of an adult now, maybe. Not really, we're a teenager who doesn't know what we're doing. But we are just going to have a look in our inventory. We've still got that um, cow seed, cow plant seed. Uh, so we might plant that soon. They can be a little friend for us. We'll pop out one of our paintings because we have two of that one. And we've got the large classic worth 222 simoleons so we will sell that off outright to get us back up above a thousand simoleons. So just finding a place for our little cow plants. We will be able to talk to them and interact with them as 
as well. They'll be a bit of a friend for us. Hopefully we don't ever fall for the cake and get eaten. Hopefully no one we know does that either because I don't think they'd be very happy with us. And we don't have too many friends at the moment. So we'll just get him popped into the ground now. So that is our little cow plant all in the ground ready to start growing. So we'll give him a little bit of water as well. And he just looks so cute. There's the little horns popping out of the ground. But we'll give him some fertilizer. We've got plenty of carrots. Make him grow up big and strong. We'll have to give him a name as well. We'll need to think about what name we want to give him. I always give my cow plants a name. But since we are back on our lot, it is back to looking around everywhere, trying to find big spots and stuff to collect. I have just noticed while looking through this editing that there was a big spot I missed, so potentially we'll grab that next episode, but I'm not quite sure what we will be doing. So yeah, we've just got a few things to grab today by the looks of it. There isn't too much going on. And there is some lemons we could harvest potentially and carrots but we might just leave it now. I want to focus on trying to collect either all the sims figures or the gemstones as that seems to be the collections we are closest to getting at the moment and we need that to get our overall aspiration done. So we're just going to have a little run around the our little community area to grab all these things. We've got a new metal as well, so we will send that off to the Geo Council once we get home. And we've also got some robot salvage parts, so maybe at some point we'll make a little robot friend for us. If not, we probably will just sell those off. I don't see us needing them, especially at this point in time. just a couple more of those big spots to get hopefully we can get some new stuff and she is overheating again she didn't get changed into her hot weather when we arrived home so we'll need to do that manually so that she does not get too uncomfortable and so that she doesn't pass away because that has happened to me before in the sims they've just passed away because they are too warm even though they could get changed but I think it's time we get some fishing done as well. We'll be able to sell off anything we catch. And we've got another phone call from Dwayne. He wants us to go to his house to hang out. And of course we're going to say yes. We haven't been over to his house before. And of course we know our girl is crushing very hard on him. So it'd be nice to spend a little bit of time and he is our own age, he's a teenager so we should spend time with people our own age. So this is his house, he's in Sulani and um, he's also got quite a big family by the looks of it. I think that's his dad there in the flippers and then two younger siblings just next to us. Yeah she's very tense because she's around her crush. Yeah so I think that's his sister and brother down there and potentially his father? I'm not sure, I'll have to check to see who all lives in this house and who's related to who. But we will talk to our crush. We will also talk to his little brother. Maybe we should be friends with them as well. If we're going to be over here a lot, it will probably help if we, we, we interact with the rest of the family a little bit and become friends with them. So we'll just... We'll teach the toddler to talk. We'll see if that'll help our friendship as well. Hopefully he can see us interacting with his brother and be like, oh, she's a really nice person. I like her. But yeah, honestly, I don't know where I'm going to go with her obviously having a crush on Dwayne, but he is just going to be our friend for now. Potentially in the future could change, but we do not need to be focusing on any romance or team, team drama right now. So we are just going to spend a little bit of time getting to know his family and hanging out with them. So we'll 
get to know him as well. Let's see if we can find out what sort of toddler he is. Is he angelic or is he fussy? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But we are teaching him to talk, just sitting in the sand right now. She cannot be comfortable. Well, at least if it was me, it wouldn't be comfortable. I don't like sand very much. It's just got a horrible texture. <laughs> And I believe that's his mother just turned up to the house. I want to say it's his mum, but I'm not quite sure. And there's food on the table. So we will also grab a serving with Dwayne so we can sort our hunger need a bit. And we've learned that Dean is a charmer. He's a little charmer. And the vampires just popped up right next to us. That's, I, I think we should maybe leave. I think we should go into the house. I don't think we should be out here with the vampire, especially when we don't know. We've left a toddler with them, but this is our swimming outfit. Because the house is over the water, I think it automatically changes them into a swimsuit outfit. But we've got a nice little green outfit with those shades on. It looks very nice with the leaf pattern as well. So we're going to grab some grilled plantain, I believe it is, for our girl to have. And we're going to talk more with Dwayne and get to know him a bit better. It will also help our social needs. Plus, he invited us over, so we should spend some time with him as well. We'll give him a little compliment. Compliment his lifeguard uniform outfit he's wearing right now. So we just spend a little bit of time with him and his family. Though it is starting to get quite late, so we might need to leave soon, head off on the home. And he likes the colour red. Ooh, that's something new we didn't know about him. But given his outfit right now, it makes sense. And we've reached level four charisma skill. So there's a lot happening right now. <laughs> Yeah, so our energy has just gone into the red. We're a little bit uncomfortable, so we will potentially head home soon. Before we do that, we are going to take some photos with Dwayne, our friend, and yeah, just and some nice little memories. We'll put them on our wall maybe when we get home. And someone else has just turned up in the background. I don't know who they are. So I will definitely need to go into the households at some point to see how, who's related to who and what is going on. Yeah, let's take some photos of the two of us. The acne isn't looking great. Yeah, I don't think now is the time to be doing any romantic photos. We are not involved that way. So let's do some happy ones and some goofy ones. Oh, even with the camera at a different angle on this one, you can't get us in properly because I would love that photo But we're gonna take some goofy photos together before we head home back to Pebble Borough, our little house, and it is straight to bed for us today. She is very tired, she's got those droopy arms, hasn't even gotten changed. So we will send her to bed and have a little look in our inventory, see what we can get rid of if there is any duplicates. We've also got these photos, we'll have to find a place for. We are still waiting on those paintings on Plopsy to sell so hopefully one of those will come in and we will make a little bit of money. Our goal currently for simoleons is 2000 before we do anything else to the house just because I think that will give us enough to get a roof on, maybe add a smaller room and get some windows potentially. We need windows in here, it's very dark and dreary, it does just look like a shed. <laughs> We need to take care of our needs as well. Our hunger was quite low by the looks of it, but it's slowly coming back up into the green now. And we've got a lot of produce has come in, so we are going to harvest and sell everything. But we might keep some flowers aside to potentially give us gifts to people so we can up our friendship as well. 
but we will get all this gardening done just now. We'll need to give some attention to our little cowberry plant. You can see him, he's sprung up just in the background there, starting to grow. So we will, again, need to name him as well because I always like giving him a little name. Give him a personality and we will be becoming friends with them, but we should research them a little bit as well. But let's give him a name. Let's call him Little Moo for now. Maybe it'll change or if we accidentally lose him, we will rename them something else. But for now, let's give this plant a little bit of attention. We will research them and talk to them so we get to know them better. We also need to spray for bugs. We finally start getting some of them in our garden and we want to keep our garden as nice as we can. A lot of our money is going to be coming from there and it's a good source of food for us. We don't have to pay for it. So we want to keep all of our plants alive. And in the calendar today, it is week con. So maybe we'll go over later and invite some friends. the information of the cow plant berry it can be in all seasons and it can be a lifelong friend become the envy of the neighborhood just remember to feed it that is something we'll, we'll need to remember to do but let's get these bugs sprayed out and sort our garden So for the first time this episode, we have had a phone call from Dwayne. He wants to go to GeekCon and I was thinking we'd invite him once we'd finished our gardening, but since he's called, we are going to hop over there with him. We're going to have a little look around, see if there's anything that we can buy. We will also, yeah, we need to work on the rocket as our goal. So we'll do that together. But we'll just have a little chat, say hello to him before we start working on the rocket. That will also get us the rocket science skill, which we obviously don't have yet. So we will get that. And we also have the very focused Moodlet. I believe it's because it is the festival right now. So we will be able to maybe get one or two levels on the rocket science. So we will run across there and get that. Potentially as well, we'll also make some friends with some of the cosplayers maybe. There is the two stalls as well where you can get food and you can also get the Geek Con t-shirt, which we could get and add into her wardrobe. So we're just going to work on the rocket for a little while and work get that skill. But we will need to think about our hygiene soon because it's in the yellow. It's not looking the best right now. So we spent a little bit of time working on the rocket. Between the two of us, we managed to get about halfway done by the looks of it. Now we're just gonna spend some more time with our friend. We're gonna have a little chat to him on either side of the rocket, because apparently we don't wanna move around to talk to him. But while we're here, let's have a look for some city posters, which I'm having the worst luck with. I haven't gotten a single one in this series so far. But I've just noticed we are cold because it is a different temperature here. So we should probably get changed before we start freezing to death. Because hopefully that wouldn't happen, but I wouldn't put it past the Sims to make that happen. So we're going to change into our cute little cat jumper and skirt combo. But we will need to sort our hygiene a little bit. We are so stinky right now. But we're hanging out with with someone so we can't really run off home to, to wash so we'll have a little chat with them get changed and get washed up a little bit yeah she's feeling very grungy and she wants to order some food from the market stalls as well because we are here so we will get some food as well because I think the hunger is probably on the lower side as well let's get our hands washed and apply can um, 
facial wash as well. This is a little bit I was talking about. You can get um, festival souvenirs. You can also get the little Geek Con t-shirt there. So we'll get that to add into her wardrobe and we'll, so we'll see if we can make a little outfit with it. But for now we are in our very cute little skirt and jumper combo. I love the hair on this one as well. So since there's a lot of people, I'm going to just check to see if there's any teams, but there isn't. But Fatima is here, who we've talked to briefly before, so we might talk to her a little bit more and get to know her better. So we at least have another friend we're getting to know. And we were successful at haggling as well, with our charisma skill going up, that has helped a little bit. So let's see if we can buy a festival t-shirt for us to add to our wardrobe. Oh, and everything's just sort of glitched and debugged there. So let's try again getting that t-shirt for us. We want to get it for our wardrobe and there's not an awful lot in the swag. It's all sparklers, which we have no use for right now. So we'll leave that for today. We've, we've got the t-shirt though, which is what we came for. And just Dwayne's over here chilling, he's playing. Blink Blocks, I believe that game is called. He's playing that while we are grabbing some food from the potential mermaid who works all the booths and is a vendor for everywhere by the looks of it. But we've gotten ourselves some food, a little veggie slider as a snack, which will sort our hunger out. I'd have lost track of Dwayne again. He's just disappeared and is doing his own thing. He's over here down he's having a little bop so maybe we'll go dance with him spend some more time with him since he did invite us out it was very nice of him this episode he's called to congratulate us on being friends with the flower bunny called us over to come over to his house and he's wanted to come to GeekCon with us so he is a very very good friend for us and of course in the back of my mind he is Carly's crush but he is just a brilliant friend right now we're I feel like we're quite close to him we've got lots of little happy memories going on so we'll spend a little bit more time with him before the festival completely ends but then we might need to head back home to sort out our needs and finish sorting out our garden we were rudely interrupted while taking care of our plants so it's now time to head home back home and I think the first thing we need to do is get this girl in the shower she is very stinky need to sort out that hygiene need other than that everything is looking good we're pretty much in the green for all of our needs apart from the hygiene one and of course we will finish spraying for bugs we don't want that plant to lose quality or die on us because that would be very bad we, we need that for our food she wants to look on the bright side because of her one of her traits and I thought I could do it just now but apparently I can't. I need to wait until she's sad or upset about something and I don't want her to be upset. Carly is just, she's doing well right now. We haven't had any major disasters this episode which is really good. So we'll have to maybe wait for her to be in a bad mood about something. I hope she isn't in a bad mood about anything soon. But we've got that mail to grab, which I believe should be the metal we sent away to the Geo Council. And of course, checking our bills, which are still very low. We're not using an awful lot of electricity or water at the moment, but that will change as we grow and expand. So we've got another duplicate of the elements. We'll need to get a board to display them soon. So we'll just, we've sold that off and we want to go fishing for a little bit back to our favorite spot. We'll examine the water to see if we can identify any types of fish that could be about for us to catch. But then we will just go fishing for a little bit, maybe get some more money. We are working towards that 2,000 simoleons. We are nearly there call from the flower bunny is a hot dog a sandwich see i think it is <laughs> but i've 
said no because apparently no one thinks it is. Um, apparently I was the wrong answer. Flower Bunny is not happy with me. Does not like Carly's answer. So that is a little bit unfortunate. So we've seen we can catch Perch here. Hopefully we will. We can get that sold. But in exciting news, our painting is someone wants to buy on Flopsy. So no fishing. We're going to run quickly and sell this off on Flopsy, get it sent away. And that'll probably be it for this episode. We will end it on a high. Come back next episode to see what we get up to. We will probably be catching up on fishing because we got none of that done this episode. And as always, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and follow along to see where this series takes us.